Right, hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. As you can see, I'm back out in the woods and I'm testing out this new Bergen. I've packed it, ram packed full of kit. Okay, this is the Pathfinder Bergen, it's 150 litres. It's from Kit Pimp, okay. Now, I did pay a small fee for this of about £84. The retail price at this current time is about £400, but he has a special offer on knocking it down to £200. Okay, now it's got absolutely tons of room. It's massive. It's a short, pack, short back Bergen. Okay, it's ideal for wearing with your webbing. Uh, but I wanted to test it out and see what it was like without the webbing and see if it pulled on the shoulders, hurt your back and so on, so on. So this is going to be a truthful uh, review and so far what I can see with it and the way the layout of the Bergen is, I'm really, really impressed. All right. Um, just looking at the stance of it, you can see it's a wide Bergen. It's big. Okay. It's, it's, it's obviously a short back Bergen. It has a lot of different features on it. I love the floating lid on it as well. That is absolutely great. Okay, so what I'll do is we'll just quickly go through uh, some of the compartments. I'm not going to empty all my kit out. Okay, we'll just quickly talk through it and about the capacities of each pouch. All right. So starting from the starting from the top, as you can see, it's got a floating lid. And on the top of it, it's got some um, molly strapping on, just so you can add um, a bit of bungee cord or whatever you want to add onto there. Okay, and it has a, a double zip, opens up, and then inside the flap, all right, it's got loads of molly on, so you can add your own little pouches if you need to, all right. Inside of the actual top, I've got in between me lots of pouches. I've got a bit of um, some army issued Gore-Tex bottoms rolled up and they fit lovely in that gap. And obviously like I've got me bits and pieces that I need, all my fire kit, uh, toiletries and all my stuff for like mozzie repellent and bits and pieces. Alright, my first aid kit always carried on me person, it never it just stays in the Bergen. So now anyway, that's them. So obviously, as you can see, it's got two net pouches on there and one large pouch. I think it's absolutely ideal. It's a great way of organising your kit. And obviously, the lid, when you fasten it, it's still got a lot of room in there. Obviously, to put some, like, in a couple of narrow pouches, you can put, like, um, see, like, an admin pouch on it, on it as well. So you've got all, like, your admin stuff, if you, if you need that kind of stuff, and put that in. Moving down, we we'll have the two main straps to keep the lid in place, okay, which is like a heavy duty plastic. Opening up the lid, you've got a zip pocket inside of here, alright, I just carry like my knife and everything in there, um, a couple of bits and pieces that aren't too fat and bulky, alright. As you can see, I've got ground mats and everything underneath here, because it's a floating lid, spin it around. As you can see, it's got three buckles on, okay, and you can just adjust them so the height comes up as much as you want, all right, and that's why I like it better, so you can move it right the way up, make it higher. So that's that lid. Then you've got this pouch here, which I love as well, right? This is the, um, the poncho pouch. Now, I can fit an abundance of kit in here. It's unbelievable. So first of all, it's got two clips on it. And then the lid lifts up. And then it's got a, I think it's a YKK zippers. Okay. And then in here, I've got, in a stuff sack, a DD 3x3 camo top. All my cordages I need. So I've got two guide ropes in there. There's uh, two ridge lines in there, and I've got four guide rope, uh, eight guide ropes in there because I set two tops up all the time when I'm out with my mugger. Then I've got all my pegs, and then I've got a ground sheet, and that's it. So that's a lot of kit there straight away. I've got my full setup for something to sit on in the ground, okay? My top, all my cordages, and my pegs. Yeah, I'm just going to leave all this to one side. Underneath, now, to, I'm, I'm finding so far at the moment to get into these and get stuff out of these properly 
this pouch needs to be emptied. So that's that's the, one of the only things I'm not really happy about. Uh, so inside here I've got a water bottle in here and a water bottle in here. In the middle I've got my stove, a jet boil. Now this is a big jet boil, I've got smaller ones but this is the one I brought out because I wanted to test it. As you can see it's a little bit stiff getting in, alright, but it's a, it's a big a big jet boil. I'm just going to leave that out as well. And then obviously, like I said, I've got two bottles. This one's empty because I've just finished off doing a camp. I'm not going to empty everything out of all my out my bergen. All right, and then my other bottle there. So they're ideal. But um, obviously, what you've got to think about is if you're putting a lot of weight into these pouches, it's going to give a tendency to pull you back. Um, that's just my opinion from experience in the past. All right, so I'll probably look at opting for a different way of carrying water, to be quite honest, and use these pouches for something different. It's just, it's my first time out using it. Okay. Then, on the side, we have two rocket pouches. Now, I think these are, um, I think they're 10, 10 kilo. You can get 10, lit 10 litres in there, sorry, not, not 10 kilo. I think they're about a 10 litre. Now, obviously, I, in this one, I'm, I'm going to take this out. In case I pull over somewhere and I want to sit down, I've got my sit mat there. And then, obviously, because I like being comfortable when I'm out camping, I've got tables and chairs and all sorts in there. Now, it's not things that you want to hear. I'm not out doing an army type of exercise. I'm out doing wild camping. Okay. Um, and it, this camp has been a luxury camp for me. Also, what I like about it is, on the sides, I'm not going to do both sides because they're exactly the same. They've got two retraining, restraining straps, retaining straps, sorry, which are quite large. And obviously, two buckles there, and then the zips come off. Get rid of the two buckles at the bottom. And then, as you can see, inside of here, they've got a mesh pocket on it as well. And the mesh pocket has actually got elastic on, so it keeps it pulled in tight, so it's not going to interfere with your um, with your zips on your pouches. All right, and as you can see, if you don't want to have the pouches on, but you want to keep the bergen as it is, you've still got this way and stuff loads of things in, see like your waterproofs and things. Okay. Um, obviously, me, I put my shovels and my axes and my saws and that in there as well. All right. Um, just makes it easier for us to pull them out when I get my location if I need to dig something or cut or chop something. All right, so that's the pouches. They come off nice and easy, look. All right, ideal. So that's that's what it looks like without it. And then obviously you've got your train straps. So once you've shoved some stuff into there, if you want to, you can get like your mats or something and just strap them to the outside of that. Or if you're like me, a YouTuber, you can put your tripod on there. All right, so that's them pouches all done. Um, stay on the outside at the moment. We'll turn it round and we'll have a quick look at the back. Okay, now when I first got this, I thought, oh, this is all right, like. But then it's got a, a big, massive, heavy-duty grab handle. Okay, if you need to just pick it up and go it away. Um, the, the actual shoulder straps, um, they're not mega thick. But I'll tell you what, I think they're, they're quite comfortable. They're nice and wide and they're quite sturdy as well. Not like some, some Bergens you get where they're dead flimsy. These have got some sort of like um, rigid, rigid to them. They're quite rigid. And as you can see, they've got a, a chest harness on it as well. All right, and then you've got your extensions where you can just pull it up, cinch it up a little bit just to get it a little bit comfier on your shoulders. As you can see on the insides of them, they've got a little small bit of padding. I think it's just enough bit of padding myself. Let's get rid of this hat. Um, yeah, ideal. And then obviously you've got your, your adjustable straps down the bottom. All seems nicely stitched in. It's all double stitched and triple stitched and things. Yeah. And then looking at the actual backrest itself. All right. Nice deep um, bit in the, in the middle helps keep your back from sweating. I've walked a few miles with this on and I've had no problems with sweat um, so far. All right, now the thing I do like about this, obviously because I will be wearing this with a webbing, 
the, um, the belt actually comes off as well. Okay, now it's felt road underneath here. I'm not going to take it off to be quite honest because the bag's packed and it's going to be tight to get it out. Um, so it does actually come off, all right, slides all the way through. So you've got this off because uh, you don't wear a belt when you've got it on top of your webbing, okay. Now looking at the actual, um, the, the belt itself, as you can see, it is mega thick. All right, it's got a good, decent bit of padding on. It feels really comfortable, okay. It's got large straps for adjusting. And instead of having your, um, your hard, hard plastic um, buckle, this has got, it's like a metal type buckle. And it's, it's absolutely class like, it just, clicks in and then it's got two little buttons press them in it comes out obviously this one here on your left hand side majority of, um, on your right hand side sorry uh, on your right hand side sorry um this one i've tightened this as much as i can to my um setting this one stays permanently still and um, the one on your right hand side is the one that actually um adjust so you can cinch it in get it nice and tight because you want it wrapped around on your on your hips and nice and tight to take the weight off your shoulders okay um as you can see also the actual main body of it is absolutely huge all right um you've obviously got on the top you've got let's just move them out of there on the top, you've got a cinch cord for around there. All right, and your next cinch cord, and then you've got the collar on the top. All right, like a rain collar. And inside, it is just massive. You can see I've still got plenty of room there. And inside of here, I've got clothing, I've got food, I've got cooking equipment, I've got a hammock set up, I've got ground dwelling set up, I've got canvas beds in here, and all sorts of stuff. All right and it's, it's it just holds so much kit so obviously this is just um my first look and in my opinion on this bergen all right i don't want to go waffling on too much about it but i really like it um it's going to get used and abused see how it holds up in the bad weather and everything obviously nine times out of ten to be honest i'll not come out with rocket pouches on it'll just be coming out with the main the main body because i'll have me webbing on so far i'm i'm happy with it um obviously we've got a, a few more months to go before i do me um me proper review and uh yeah so far so good so if you like it please like comment and subscribe okay um i'll put a link in the description below for this bergen yeah thank you very much everybody for watching really appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one